Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I'll be talking about a game idea that I just came up with. And I think like now it's a combination of Sky City Skylines and Transport Fever. As you know, they're very similar games, but they're quite different to each other. Now, with City Skylines, you create your own city, and there's so many expand packs as well, with it as well, but it's where you manage your transport, transporting people from end end to city to the other, and transporting goods as well at the same time, and keeping the roads clear, making sure all traffic flows clearly, and there are mods that you can use as well. I use a tra mod called Traffic Manager, and it's pretty good. But you can control traffic lights, you can control what trucks go in what lane and all that. But that game hasn't been updated for a while. And also, I think like, well, they have got some expansion packs. Yeah, I do know. They have recently got expansion packs for industries. You can transport goods, which includes farming, ore mines, um, woodland, and oil mines. And that's where thing you got to transport goods from your farmers into um these other manufacturing industries where you manufacture into products then you gotta transport the products from those industries straight to the commercial. Now that's the issue because as you when your city is small it's quite easy to transport goods. But you don't have the industrials. You don't you know you have the industrial, you might have the industrial expansion pack, but you can't buy any industries until you reach a certain population. Once you reach a certain population, you can add your farming and your woodland. Then you got to reach another certain population for oil and oil, I think. Now, obviously... As your city grows, it becomes a little bit harder to transport goods from your industries to your commercials. Well, it's harder for me anyway. If it's harder for anyone else, when you else do that, please let me know in the comments if you find it hard doing that. Especially me in particular. And I'm just thinking because I had to stop cities the City Skylines series on my YouTube channel. If you already, if you are a subscriber and you watch that City Skylines, the City Skylines series that I did, I did about four episodes, well, three episodes, and, um, well, I say three episodes and part of a fourth episode. Well, I was going to do a fourth episode when I had to be stopped. I filmed what I could in the fourth one and how and what's happening, why I couldn't continue no more and yeah. So yeah I couldn't do any more. I was building London, my own version of London. Anyway. So I stopped that series and I found another game that I kind of loved and was kind of similar to City Skyline but it was totally different so I started that game so I bought it, downloaded it and played it and I recorded a YouTube series of it took me a couple of goes to find the right map but I found the right map and I know it wasn't the first time playing it but anyway, now first of all, it took quite a while to get off, but in City Skyline, I couldn't make a profit. That's why I had a money mod on to make it 
unlimited money. But in the transport fever, I am doing great. It's about getting your transport right. Right, my transport. Now, transport fever is a game where you control your transport instead of your city. So, it's different. So, what you do is you. First, when you load it up, you have these three maps, and you select out the three maps. You select this. How many towns you want and how many industrials you want? You want a large map or a small map? How hard is it? So, once you select your map, you can then start it. Then, as soon as you get onto the map, once that map's loaded, you gotta then think, right, you gotta then, what, well, what I did is pause the game and looked, what is the closest industry to another industry where I can transport goods from that industry to another industry to process it to into goods where you can transport it to towns. It is a bit hard to explain, but I think I know where I'm coming from. And hopefully you do too. And you know what? It's pretty good. But also, not only have you got to manage your trucks, you got lines that you got to do, so you got to buy buildings, like truck stops, boat stops, and, like, so you have trucks, railway, boats, and plane. Now, the plane is locked when you first start, because it starts in the 1850s, planes weren't invented in the then time, so that's where you gotta wait until somewhere in the 1900s where you can actually start getting planes. But anyway, besides the point, so you start at 1815, you select your transport you want to transport goods, make sure it's making profit. You gotta make sure you build it right next to the industry so you can make your so you can have the goods transport to there in that station and then the goods will then transport load, load from the station to your selected transport like boat, truck or railway etc. Airplane if you're in 1900s also you can select your year that you want to start from there in the map. But I would start off from the 1815 so you can actually start. Because if you start at a late time, your money will be diff, your money will be hard to control because obviously everything will be modern. So I would start at the 1815. I know it might be all random stuff, but I'm trying to explain it. Anyway, side point, it is brilliant. Once you know what you're doing, once you know, once you start transporting some goods and start making money, sometimes it can take a long time to make money. And also, another good cool feature that they got is you not only can you pause the actual game and play it and speed it up, but you can actually pause the year and date and have the game playing on the same day. So you can still transport goods to make them, so you could pause the date and play the game, even fast forward the game and transport the goods and make the money while the years pause. So you can make big and um, better uh, things. So you can, once you've got enough money, you might want to add a big railway system, which will probably cost a lot of money, or an airport in the future or whatever. Make millions while you can. Now, when you when I do this, I normally do it off camera, but I'm doing some on camera as well. Now, however, when I've got to say while the game is paused and just well, while the date is paused and the game is still playing, your trucks will well 
let's say your transport vehicles will obviously need to be changed more regularly because of the short time but like I said it's how life is but you'll be able to make money now remember do not stop building a load of transport too fast otherwise you'll lose money and you'll lose money quicker than faster than it's coming in you got to be tactical so Start with the easiest option, the closest industries as possible. So say like you got a farm and then you got like an industry to make it from to convert it from wheat to food or from where it came from to food item and then start off with that first, then you gotta think like right can I transport that food to a town, to a nearby town? Then you figure that route out. Then you leave it at that, you let the game play, you can make the money, and what you'll see is your money will slowly start to build up. I would recommend you leave the game, the date port and the let it play during the background on the same day. Once you made that money, you then start on a different industry and start transporting goods there but be careful which transport you choose now i have found that trains are the most expensive because obviously not only have you got to pay for the train you got to pay for carriages as well so start off with one train one carriage for cargo now eventually when you get into the game more often and you're earning quite a bit of money you can then start transporting people across one town to another you might want to transport people from one town to another then transport the goods after it's up to you how you want to do it but make sure you earn enough money to make a profit but you gotta repair you gotta replace the vehicles after a certain amount of time and you gotta and as time goes on as the dates go on and years go by, the vehicles become more and more expensive and the old vehicles will disappear. So that means you got to upgrade the vehicles to a much expensive vehicle. But you got to also contain, you got to make sure you uh, still earn enough money to replace them and to enough money to replace them and trans more goods even though the vehicles will become more faster than well at the same time so you'll be able to transport more goods at the same time so it may cause more profit at the same time as well also note some you gotta be careful make sure you pay off your loan as well i would do it at five thousand at a time pay five thousand at a time when you got money so just all begin money. I'm finding it's much better to do this. To me, back to city's kind, I'm losing money. Especially when the cities get big. I can never make a profit in there. But to me, if you combine Transport Fever 2 into City Skylines and add that into there, you can control your trucks and your city and your factories, everything like that, and Traff lights, controlling your traff lights, and crossings, controlling the cro crossings, and barred gates, lights, whatever. And you can start in the 1850s and build residential and watch your city grow. Do you want yeah, watch your city grow throughout the years. Watch everything upgrade. Your railways, your transport, your bus in that. That's what I want. So then you start at an earlier time and you're actually transporting goods. You build your own factories, you build your own thingies. You're 
transport, roads, cities. Obviously, you got to have, to me, I would have, like, 100,000 or 200,000 to start off with, just so that you can buy your industries and your towns, and say, like, you can create your own town. So you find a plot and create a town there. Find another plot and create another town. Like, say, like, on the plot industry, you put our industry there. Right, which one, what? When you create your town, you then have your commercial and your rental dental. You put your commercial in, in rental dental, and then you have your factories. You might want some industry in there as well, produce some goods. But industries could be outside your town. If you look at the transport fever, you see that industries are not in one place. So, like, in City Skylines and SimCity, as well, or some city series, you got to do your industries, your commercial, then your rental dental, all in different sections. So you have squares, but in the thingies, but in City Skylines and industrial and Spanish Pack, you have proper industries, but you still have some amount of buildings, but in Transport TV you don't. And plus, they're not in one area. They're dotted about. So it's completely different. Which I think this it is much better. So I would like someone to create a game where you combine Transport Fever 2 into a City Skylines and have a simulation of that. Where you can create your own towns, you create your own lines, create build your own industries, you import and then control your own vi trucks and transport like transporting people, transporting goods to one end to another end to another end, another end from one place to another place then from that place to town then so on so on and then maybe you have and maybe you could have like, as your city grows, you get to upgrade your buildings, or add other buildings, or maybe have new industries, where you can create better stuff. Also, add in warehouses, so if you're, f so, maybe you could have a line from your industry to the place, and you've, and maybe you could have the truck stop, where you have a truck stop, is a big warehouse where they keep all the goods and then you transport it and if that's too full, it's a warehouse. So instead of truck stops, it's warehouses. <coughs> no good. If someone, please smash that like button if you like that idea. Leave me a comment down below what you think of it. And think of the name of the, that game as well. Let me know. Smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of the video. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. I know it's a bit up to. And so, bye.